Hey everybody, wanted to give a brief uh, demonstration of a proof of concept involving uh, the uh, storage of solar energy in the uh, lifter. And this is using solar panels and uh, water to pump uh, water back and forth between these blue uh, jugs. These blue jugs are about uh, seven gallons, so it's a total of about 56 pounds that can be stored uh, as far as uh, weight goes in each of these blue uh, jugs. And I have a switching mechanism here that switches from one pump to the other. These little motors are uh, 500 gallons per hour, so that comes out to be five or six, seven, seven or eight gallons uh, per minute. So if I can get uh, a tilt every one or two minutes, then if it takes 14 tilts to go up one foot, then about 15 minutes per foot. But that's going to come later whenever I uh, put some weight in there. And I also have to put some sort of dampening mechanism because whenever you put about 500 pounds in here it slams over pretty quick so let me take the uh, let me take the brakes off and you can see it go up So you can see that by automating this and putting a switch in for it to stop whenever it gets to the desired, uh, to your desired height, that you can set this and, and, and leave it and then come back in the afternoon or in the evening whenever you want to uh, retrieve the um, potential energy that's been stored uh, by raising the carriage up X number of feet. Let me show you a little bit closer. I wish I had some sort of uh, indicator on the outside of this jug so I could see it go, the water level go up and down, but sort of a black box, really. And you can hear when I step in front of my solar panel that it definitely stops, stops these little motors as you would expect. There we go. And you can see the little switch uh, that I have set up there. It's not very fancy, it just flips a couple of uh, light switches back and forth as it tilts. Turning one pump on and the other one off.
wanted to show a new design to you of a lifter that uses a uh, flowable material in its carriage instead of uh, a solid. Using a liquid in the carriage opens up a lot of possibilities on how to control the uh, extraction of the potential energy that's stored whenever that body of water or liquid is raised up to the same height as you would with a, uh, a solid material being inside of the carriage. So this particular carriage then has been replaced with uh, containers to hold water. These jugs are 35 gallons each. And so if we get 60 gallons between them, then we've got about 480 pounds of water stored in these containers. And so we'll tilt that up to about eight or nine feet and we'll extract the energy that's stored there. So here also are the seven gallon containers. When they're filled up with water, that's about uh, 50, 56 pounds that's being applied through this uh, extended tilt arm. These two uh, joined hoses here are, are just uh, two sink connections from a sink combo that I bought, put it in the bottom of these 35 gallon uh, containers and uh, joined them down here at a Y and they run through this blue hose over to uh, this small turbine it's got the little cups there for the uh, veins and it has a nozzle that shoots the water into those veins and uh, I'm also still using these uh, new pal 30 watt 12 volt uh, panels I've got two of them here hooked up both of them together are I don't know if you can see that or not but I'm getting 18 volts uh, it's coming out of them right now and I've got the uh, I've got the pumps set for one amp at 12 volts so that's all we're using we're not using a battery uh, this time so we're just going to hook it right up to the solar panels and let it directly pump the water from one blue container to the other. So I'm getting ready to fill these up as soon as I get these filled up and we'll fill this up and seal it and start letting the sun tilt this back and forth. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're about ready to start this uh, tilt cycle. I have the solar panels hooked up. I'm getting about 18 volts out of uh, out of them, and I've got uh, the containers in the uh, carriage filled up to about 70 percent. Uh, full and blue container on this end is uh, filled up and ready to go So we're going to get some tilting going and then I'll switch over to the uh, time lapse and We'll see how many tilt cycles we can get in and hopefully we'll have enough uh, sunlight to uh, Get it all the way up about nine or ten feet So Here we go